Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Guest China Germany. Today, not a review but a tutorial, I want to show you how to route the Elephone P7000, which actually is pretty easy. Now, I did a German tutorial over at guestchina.de yesterday, and today I want to show you um, how to do that on a quick video, also in English language, so everyone can understand that. Now, Elephone already released a tutorial about that. They are always very open to hacking their phones, routing it. And well, but for some, this tutorial might hard to understand, might be hard to understand um, because Chinese aren't the best of English language. So well, let's get right into it. Below the video, in the video description, you will find a link um, which redirects you to the download of the all-in-one package I built, um, which contains everything you need. Um, and it doesn't matter if you flashed a Chinese phone before or if you didn't. Um, so download this zip file, extract it, and then you will get something like this P7000 root AIO, which stands for all-in-one. Um, double click on it and you will see um, three more folders inside of there. One is Flash Tool, one is Super Sue and Recovery, and another one is Driver. So if you never flashed a MediaTek-based Chinese phone before, you want to make sure to head into the Driver directory, where you will see a .exe file called Driver Install. Just execute this and let the system install the drivers. Now, in case you run Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, you need to disable the driver signature check. I won't show you now how this is done. This would take too long. Um, just Google for it. There are plenty of tutorials out there and it's not all that hard. So please make sure to disable driver signature check before you execute the driver install. So once you install the driver using uh, this piece of software, make sure to take your Elephone P7000 and remove the battery real quick. I will do that now for demonstration purposes. Just remove it, put it back in and then attach it to your PC using the USB cable that comes with it. And then your PC will detect a new piece of hardware for a very short time, but this will be enough to finish the driver installation. In case the system asks you anything, um, just hit OK. Everything is all right. Um, and well, then the drivers will be installed. So the next step is to flash a recovery onto your Elephone P7000 and it's the CWM recovery. Um, so, so now to do that, you need um, the recovery file and the SP flash tool. Now the SP flash tool is located in the flash tool folder. So switch into the flash tool folder, search for the application, which is here, flash tool.exe, double click on it and it will pop straight up just takes a while loading. Next, what you need to do is to check that this drop down menu here shows download only. And you also need to load the scatter file, which is located in the folder super Sue and recovery. And then into the folder P7000 recovery. And here you will find the file MT6752 Android scatter.txt. So open it up and then you will get this list here, make sure only recovery is checked, then hit the download button and attach your Elephone P7000 again with the battery installed. Um, the tool will then start flashing the phone. You will see the loading bar here moving and once it's done, you will get a pop-up box with a green checkbox in there telling you that the flashing process is done. And please, until it is done, don't touch your phone and don't touch your PC. Um, that's very important because it could potentially break something. Um, so once you did that, you will have the custom recovery flashed onto your phone. So what you need to do next is to fire the Elephone P7000 up. And let me tell you that it doesn't matter which ROM you are using. Um, well, it probably won't work with CM12.1, but it does work with the stock ROM and 
the Wipe UI ROM. I personally tested it with the Wipe UI ROM. So anyway, boot it up again, wait till it's booted up, then attach it to your PC as mass storage so you can attach the internal SD card. Once you did that, you move into the folder SuperSU and Recovery once more. And here we'll find SuperSU Pro version 2.49.zip, um, which you don't extract, please. Just copy it onto your phone into the internal memory. Um, once you did that, you eject your phone and then shut it down again, like you see here. Right, so pretty simple. Let's wait till it shut down. Um, it usually vibrates once it's shut down. If you aren't sure if it's probably shut down, just remove the battery again, put it back in. And now the important step, we need to enter the recovery. Um, for this, you press volume up and power and wait till the LFO logo appears. And once the LFO logo appeared, you release the power button but keep pressing volume up. And now you wait a little bit and there you go, we are inside the recovery. Now you have plenty of options here. To navigate, you use volume up and volume down and to select an option, you press the power button. So what we need to do here is to choose install zip. So I choose that and select it with the power button. Another menu appears where I can select between choose zip from SD card or choose zip from storage dash SD card one. Now in my case, I copied the file to the intern uh, to the external SD card, means my micro SD card, which I, have in which I have inside. The internal memory is the normal SD card, the first option here. So in my case, I need to choose the second one. If you don't have any SD card inside your phone, you need to choose the first one. So I select that and now you will see the contents of the SD card and here you see the SuperSU Pro version 2.49 zip file selected. Now it will ask you if you really want to flash that, confirm that with yes and now it will flash everything you need for root access onto your phone and bam it's done already. So the next thing you're gonna do is to go back and reboot your phone. And well that's it already, it really is that simple. The phone will now reboot and well, then we will have root access. Let's just wait a little for a bit. I will do a little cut to be straight back. So here we are back again, the phone booted up. Let's unlock it and you will immediately see that we've got the super soup binary here and I also installed root checker. So let's pull the root checker up here, verify root access and boom, we have root access. Usually it's gonna ask you if you want to grant root access to this application, but already did that previously so it doesn't ask me again. So it really is that simple getting root on the Elephone P7000 despite Android 5.0 Lollipop. I hope this tutorial was easy to understand for you. In case there are any questions left, make sure to drop them into the comments. If you like what we are doing at this channel Germany, we would love if you hit the follow button on YouTube, Facebook, Google Plus and of course Twitter as well. So thanks for watching this video review over and out.